this is Stevio here, and today we got the equipment tour. All the tractors and everything, if you caught the live stream, are to the farm. So let's see what we have. Of course, by popular request, we got Squad's truck, F-250 XLT Power Stroke. Kind of like the gray. Really glad that you guys decided on the gray. I kind of like how the gray uh, rare the wear on the gray there I just like how that truck wears so we'll just go in sequence here so we got a uh, John Deere 1600 chisel two of them and a Alice Chalmers uh, this is a cultivator and then we have a John Deere split disc So I did find a diesel Oliver. This is a 1850. Yes, the lights stay on, so I can't turn them off for whatever reason. This is a diesel. It could use a little bit of work, let's just say that. That engine's a little bit lacking, but we have the Kinsey Grain Cart 1050. We also have a 9650 STS combine so I kind of like the big tires on this so it's kind of a little bit more old school so back in the day then we're kind of common we all have our uh, I think this German I would butcher that name but it's a self-propelled swather basically I can't find an old school self-propelled swather and this is the best one I got we have a GMC not sure the model on this but it's a GMC dump truck dump trucks are definitely used back in the day so that's is our red and we have a blue one too I did find a old-school Ford tractor so I could driving this around earlier and I really enjoyed it a TW 10 Ford good-looking tractor in my mind I'm not for sure I don't know a lot about Ford so I don't know if this is American or only European got a little liquid fertilizer tank there and I don't believe this is actual model but it it, it kind of fits our small scheme at first so I got that disc We got a 4955 John Deere front wheel sis. So that was popular requested in the live stream. And we got two 1590 uh, drills. Got a little, uh, I believe this is a 30 foot, just a normal auger grain head. A 7810. Uh, John Deere. So this is going to be our planter tractor. We have it on our Kinsey 12 roll planter. We got a good old loader tractor. So this is probably one of the newest tractors. So me, I have a lot of memories in a 7140. So had to get one of these on the farm. It's just perfect for a loader tractor. A little bit too new for what I'm trying to start out with, but it's fairly close to the 4955 or at least the 7810 so we got a 4020 that's on the tinder we got a 1086 it's on a fertilizer spreader and a 1066 international on another fertilizer spreader and we got a 4010 John Deere that was popular requested uh, we just got a little flatbed trailer that's gonna hold our seed we got our 6000 series John Deere sprayer we got a Westfield auger here and of course we have a farm oil H that's kind of almost perfect to have on an auger tractor we have a little bandit uh, auger there unload auger so we have a Kenworth 
W900, I believe this is a 74 model, so it kind of fits our scheme. We do have a pretty big uh, fertilizer tender trailer here, but uh, we kind of need it because I want to go all pallets for all fertilizer. So we have a old white workhorse here. Too bad the lights stay on on it. It's a 145 workhorse so it looks fairly good it could use a little bit of work but man I would really enjoy a really good white workhorse mod and to let's just say FS19 standards we got it hooked to the hay buster we got an old international F1800 uh, flatbed truck so that's gonna be good for hauling bales or hauling our pallets around. We got a little grinder mixer over there. We got our new Holland baler. We got a little Oliver uh, little manure spreader for our smaller jobs. Maybe uh, spreading manure on like the garden and stuff like that. We got another GMC truck here. So I just love these GMC trucks are easy to use and they're definitely old school you know these type of trucks are going out of style most everyone has semis now got we're prepared for our snowstorm if we ever have one uh, this is our what I'm gonna be using it as a calving barn these are our cow calf got a few bowls in here I'll make sure we shut this gate man we're lucky so this is our little water pump that comes with seasons so this will keep your water at 15 percent all the time or basically more realistic we got our old w9 mccormick deering parked over here behind our this is our horse stable we got a couple uh, GEA uh, slurry tankers and some H&S manure spreaders so I had them in the last uh, version of Automokes and really enjoyed them so we got our a K30 here hooked up to our uh, Wilson uh, livestock trailer believe so we still have over here in the back we have a uh, 8670 Ford so I just thought this would probably be a good feeder tractor so it's on the mech fiber 365 Keenan so we also back here getting prepared to cr we're going to spread manure on our new crop land of 4440 so this is going to be my loader tractor one of my loader tractors that in the 7210 so a little bit higher horsepower loader tractors but that's what you kind of need when you're handling uh, hay bales and uh, heavy loads of a manure so this is our old weed roll here. So one of our old forgotten barns. So this is a Massey Ferguson 620. I don't know if we'll use this or not. We might clean it up, and, you know, lube it up and see if it still runs out there in the field. But right now it's it's forgotten in the weed roll or forgotten in, we have a Alice Chalmers uh, WD-45 sitting here in the wee bro too I believe that is it for now so I did sell some of the tractors so I know you guys wanted the 8970 so I got it here on the farm and it just wasn't fitting I mean we don't have a lot of farmland to start out with so didn't want to have that on the farm and not really have anything any implements big enough for it so we will upgrade 
to definitely a tractor like that if not that tractor so that's a good upgrade I kinda wanna really start out small and maybe even stay small for a good while on this series with seasons and kinda really enjoy it so I don't wanna start out too big and then have too much of a loan I think uh, once I start playing I'll put my mortgage and my loan payment up there on constantly on the video so you guys can see and let's say every seasons I'm gonna figure out a payment that I'm gonna have to do to the bank to keep basically the farm running and that will be our goal to constantly make money and be able to pay off the bank without going bankrupt so something realistic we're definitely gonna play the poor farmer route maybe we'll even have to sell a tractor or something to make the payment if that happens hopefully not hopefully it's not a tractor that you liked and picked out during the live stream so I believe I missed a few super chats and I think I need to get still need to get a cab over don't worry I'll get one on the farm here soon here's a couple of our hay wagons we got three of them so a lot of our bales are gonna be small square bales I don't know if not all the bales now I have to figure out some way in seasons to store them because seasons you have to put them under cover so I, I, I don't know if a normal building obviously these buildings I wanted these buildings to be some type of hay storage but I don't know if that will prevent seasons from slowly depleting your bale. So hopefully it doesn't. But I'll have to find, hopefully find a mod or be able to get in and change these. Because this is really a good hayloft right here. And I w that's just what I'd like to use this building, this little lean-to here or overhang so we still have to pick up a few items so I need I think I still need a silage picker or something to grind up the hay uh, I have a baler I have I realize I'm, I'm missing a few implements I still need to get it's always when you start out a farm you always miss forget one item or two items or like me three or four so I'm really looking forward to this new map so this is definitely going to be a new adventure, figuring out seasons, figuring out how to work the double crops, figuring out how to make the mortgage or loan payment every season or month. So come join us. Come help us. Come give me tips and comments. Keep leaving your comments below. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you later on Autumn